Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited to come back to the channel today. I'm going to make homemade donuts. So let's get started. And um, you need your flour, your plain flour. You can use bread flour as well, all purpose flour or hard flour, you can use that. I have butter, I have one large egg, I have half cup of sugar, I have two teaspoons of yeast, and I have a bit of water. I have a pinch of salt as well. Then you will need evaporated milk. I have a bit of flour which I'm going to use to knead um, the dough. Then I, I have my caramel and um, vanilla essence, uh, essence, caramel flavor. But you can have vanilla essence, you can have pineapple essence. And I have my saucepan with my oil in it. Then I have my sugar, that's a cup of sugar, which after frying the donut, you can sprinkle on it. So first of all, I'll add all my dry ingredients. I'll add my yeast. I'll add my sugar. Then I'll add a pinch of salt to it. And mix it together okay so we set this aside then we have our evaporated milk I'm going to add my egg to it and mix it together after mixing the egg with um, and your evaporated milk together you add your butter to the flour and mix that together with your hands. I've already washed my hands, so I'm going to mix that. After you've mixed the butter in the flour, you have to add your egg and your evaporated milk together and mix it. After adding the egg and the evaporated milk, you add your water. The water is about four tablespoons full. Then you, you add it, you mix it together to get a dough. When mixing the dough, you can knead the dough in your bowl. I've added a bit of the caramel essence to it. I've told you it's a prep and it's your own preference. You can use vanilla essence or pineapple, any of it. Then you need it. I'm going to need it on my working surface. So I'll take it from the bowl and set the bowl aside. I'll sprinkle a bit of flour on my working surface. Then I'm going to knead it. After kneading it, this is how your dough looks like. Then you leave it in your bowl for 10 minutes. I cover it with my kitchen towel. Then you need a tray, a baking tray. You sprinkle a little bit of flour on it because we are going to cut the donuts in small sizes. You need a donut cutter as well. If you don't have a donut cutter, you can use this um, a cup, a round cup, and maybe a lid of a water bottle to cut it. So I'll show you how to cut the donuts with the cup and the lid. After 10 minutes, our dough is ready. You sprinkle a bit of on your working surface and bring the dough. Take the dough out. Try and knead it a bit more to become a bit smooth. Then you need your rolling pin to roll it out. Ready. 
roll it out. By rolling it, this is how it looks like. Then the thickness needs to be about a inch. It doesn't need to be really flat. It needs to be a bit, um, a bit bigger. And we are now going to cut the the donut shape. So this is how I use the cup to cut it. You press on it to cut it. Then you use the lid to cut the middle of it. So this is the shape of the donuts. Then we put it on the tray. You don't throw the tiny bits away. You can fry it and eat it as well. Then you really need to cut really close to the edges and close to each other. And really close to each other. How big it is is how the cup is or the donut cutter is. If you don't have a donut cutter, don't worry about yourself. You can use the cup and a lid of the water or any lid which is okay. Okay guys, so this is how the donut um, shape looks like. So I'm going to leave it in a warm place for one hour. We'll come back and show you how it looks like after one hour. The donut has risen and now we are going to fry it. So I have my pan on the hob and it's on. The oil is now hot. So I'm going to start frying it. So when you put them in, you put them in bit by bit. Then on the other side, it's brown, golden brown, you can turn it to the other, for the other side to also turn golden brown. So I'll come back and show you how the donut looks like after frying it. The, the donuts are done now, it's golden brown. So now we are going to put it in our sugar, we are going to add the sugar at all. So I'll put one in and just Sprinkle the sugar on it this way. All of it. Then I have to do all like that. So it's ready. You can enjoy. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and share it to other friends and family. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for all the likes as well. Stay blessed. Bye.